Oh, hey there, yellow chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Well, it's about time y'all got here. I've been waiting for y'all. For what? Are you kidding? Did you already forget? I sent my carrier pigeon with this letter and it... I forgot to give the bird the letter. I must have switched up the letter with... I'm a lunch! Fiddlesticks! Well, y'all might have a bird show up with a peanut butter pickle sandwich here soon. So y'all can share that amongst yourselves, I guess. Woo. Anywho, I need your help. You know how in those well-known fairy tales there's always quests people go on? You know, it might be for the lost ruby, a stolen magical sword, or maybe a chest of buried treasure. Whatever it is, the hero has to boldly go on this journey. Well, anyways, I've been writing some really cool journeys for me to go on in this Ever After storybook. And so far, it's been great. But that's what makes me nervous. I feel like sooner or later, I'm going to have to face something truly terrifying. I'm not going to lie, I'm a tad bit scared. Like, what if I get hurt? For example, imagine I'm walking through the forest, and the trees start walking and talking. I can't fight off a family of trees. Maybe if I had chainsaws for arms, but I don't. And I can't speak tree, so I can't even sweet talk my way out of this position. Or what if I get squashed by a giant water buffalo? That is terrifying. Number one, because I don't think I would survive it. And number two, I don't even know what a water buffalo is. Is it a buffalo that lives in the water like a shark? Or is it a buffalo made up entirely of water? I don't know, and that's what scares me. What scares you? Ah, don't hurt me. Whoa, take it easy. It's me, Grace. I'm not gonna hurt you. Whew. You really spooked me there. Sorry about that. <laughs> What's got you so on edge? Well, nothing crazy. I guess I'm just really nervous. About what? Your terrifying impending doom. Huh? <laughs> just kidding. You're nervous about what lies ahead on your journey? <laughs> you got it. It just got me a bit scared. I never expected it to bother me, but it's hard to stay calm. Especially when you don't know what's coming, you know? Oh, I know. And you're right. It can be a bit scary. But you know what? What? God will always take care of you. <sighs> I know, I know. Wait, hear me out. I know that's a phrase people say all the time, but I want you to think about it. Do you believe it? Believe that God will take care of me? Sure. Every once in a while, I'm sure that God will help me and take care of me. Nope. Excuse me? That's not true? Not quite. You said every once in a while God would take care of you. I asked if you believed God would always take care of you. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. I, I guess I just didn't realize there was a difference. I get that, and that's the only reason I mentioned it. You see, it may be difficult to understand, but we can't forget that we are God's children, and God always takes care of us. But then what? Never mind. It's okay. What were you going to say? Well, I guess I'm just having a hard time believing it. Like, look at Ruth and Naomi's story. Okay. Ruth had asked Boaz to marry her. And Boaz wanted to, but there was something that he needed to figure out first. And what was that? Well, Boaz had the opportunity to be what they called a kinsman redeemer. Since Ruth didn't have a husband or sons to help her, she was stuck in a spot with no one to take care of her. Boaz was in a spot where if he married someone that was related to Naomi, he would be allowed to pay off her debts and take care of her in a very unique way. <laughs> That's wonderful. That was a normal way of doing things back then, right? I think so. Like a redeemer meant that they were supposed to pay off a debt. Something they owed. Exactly. And Boaz wanted to be that person, but had to ask the other guy first. Boaz was hoping he would not want to be the kinsman redeemer. That way it would allow Boaz to be it and marry Ruth. And then what happened? The man gave Boaz the right to become the kinsman redeemer for Ruth and her family. And guess what? Ruth and Boaz got married and lived happily ever after. Yes! You see, Carl? Naomi lost her entire family. God was able to steer Naomi's losses back to a healing place. One of the outcomes of Naomi's heartbreaking story was that one day, one of her family members would become the king of Israel. Her trust in God, Naomi's bold belief, and Boaz's care for others reflects a story that is true. 
that God will take care of you. And to make it even cooler, they had a baby, and that baby had a baby, and that baby had a baby, and guess what that baby's name was? Gertrude? <laughs> no, David, as in King David. No way, how cool is that? Wait, that means... <laughs> yep. Ruth and Boaz's baby was in the same family tree as Jesus? You got it. That's the coolest thing ever. You see, Ruth and Naomi may have suffered loss, but God was taking care of them from the very beginning. Their story reminds us that God's looking out for us too. And even though we might not understand at the time, God is always taking care of us. That's it, that's it. That is the best news in the whole wide world. God is so cool. What a wild ride. I mean, think about it. This story started off with loss and loneliness and heartbreak, but now it is filled with new family, love, and unspeakable joy. And that is why this week's big idea is the wonderful reminder, God always takes care of us. So we're gonna shout it out loud on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. God always takes care of us. Woohoo! I love that reminder. Great job, kiddos. Now I gotta get out of here because I gotta go face some dragons or trolls, whatever's in my way. I know whatever it is, it's gonna be ruthless. Do you know what else is ruthless, Andy? What, Carl? Boaz, before he met Ruth. <laughs> get it? Because ruthless was like how you said it and ruthless was like Boaz before Ruth. He was ruthless. It's a pun. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time. See ya. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.